Welcome to Dweller of the Dark. We are a channel honoring the yellowed and blackened bones of many prominent authors. We will be digging up several obscure, strange, and forgotten authors who influence many of the great horror, science fiction, and fantasy writers today. Comment below if you like. If you have authors that you'd like to see recognized, list them in the comments or contact our author page. Subscribe for more tales of the horrifying, obscure, strange, and forgotten in the future. We have quite a collection climbing out of the tombs. If you like any of our tales, hit the like button below. We want to introduce Horror Writer Association honored guest blog writer and the HWA's Halloween Haunts 2018 blog winner, J.J. LeBlanc. J.J. LeBlanc grew up listening to all manner of tales in the remote swamps, coastal waterways, and marshes of Louisiana. Later, during his international assignments, J.J. traveled the world from Africa to Dumar Espy, collecting several stories of his adventures. He has a passion for character-driven writing and all manners of stories, but his writing obsessions are science fiction, fantasy, speculative, and cosmic horror. He's been influenced heavily by M.R. James, Ray Bradbury, Clark Ashton Smith, Howard Phillips Lovecraft, Philip K. Dick, just to name a few. Horror writers who have offered advice and encouragement for his writing have been Anne Rice, Stephen King. Stephen emphatically encouraged Jeff to become a novelist. Jeff LeBlanc wrote his first novel in 2011, The Devil of Black Bayou, inspired by his transatlantic trip, a boat from the North Sea back to the United States. He currently has three novels, two anthologies, and hundreds of short stories he's collecting into anthologies and working on many, many more. Notable were the Horror Writer Association's Halloween Haunts 2018 as an honored guest. Uh, he was an HWA blog winner. He got accolades from the creator of the National Dark Poetry Day, Peter Adam Solomon, for his poem, Wings of the Seraph. In 2009, he reached number 11 on the Autonomy's horror listing out of 10,000 offers for The Devil of Black Bayou. An editor-in-chief for the left-hand publishers, Karen, notable, quote, we found the anthology for Wolves, Wings, and other things enjoyable and the artwork creative. He had a novella, War with Werewolves, set to Lycan Valley Publishers, which got into the final round. Current projects are Dark Regions Contest, Sad Man, Three-Eye Burning Low, Tangled is the Web, Parsecs, his story In Waning Light, The Dark, he listed in the spider's web and currently he has mythic beats beast right now with a warning of gorgons he uh, also submitted to creative capital tangled is the web novels as he's listed was devil of black bayou shadows ghost of the moonlight and wings of the seraph all published by cloven hook publishers in ebook format wolves wings and other things was written in 2015 it was first published as an ebook by Cloven Hook Publishers in 2016. The collection introduces the dark Avalon mythos detailed in the novels The Wings of the Seraph, Shadow Ghost of the Moonlight, and The Devil of Black Bayou. These are the first of three separate trilogies. A few of the stories listed in Wolves, Wings, and Other Things are Wings of the Seraph. A rancher and his adopted cowboys will battle and have their world crushed by ancient winged towers. Who will live? Who will die? And what betrayal will change the rancher forever? Another story listed is The Devil of Black Bayou. This is a book excerpt. Love and loss for a cursed immortal. Try not to judge the pirate too harshly. Or the vampire. The Gorgon is another story listed in the anthology. A dying man runs for his life in a starlit swamp from his wife. What could cause the man such terror to flee? Will he survive this night? Another story in this anthology is Mary Wept. A murderous woman rots under an old house. Is she a lunatic or possibly controlled by something else? Another story listed is The Lightning Bug. A heron attic is drawn toward an electrifying sermon with an odd congregation. What is the secret of the sermon? Another story is Anniversary at Lake Pelto. A boat captain's daughter honors her father's sacrifice to an alien. Excerpt 
Shadow Ghost of the Moonlight. The mercenary and his father prepare for war with something growling in the fog. It is said the human monster sometimes peers at us through our own mirror. What will these people discover about themselves facing adversity and doom? Who will survive the encounters and battles? And whose mind, heart, or soul will be lost to these horrific haunters of the dark? Please check out Wolves, Wings, and Other Things listed in the ebook section of the Jeffrey LeBlanc website. If you have any other questions, just list them in the comments below. Thank you.